great. So today is day 22 of my 30 days of React challenge. And before I start moving on to libraries and read outs, which I'm going to um, look into next, I wanted to create a fully functioning kind of CRUD app, except excluding a database. So um, a app which creates data, updates data, and deletes data. So I've kind of done all these things in little bits and pieces, but haven't put them all together into one app yet. So yeah, I've created a post-it note kind of to-do list-esque app. So a quick little demo. Um, here we have a form and we have our post-its. Um, you can add post-its with notes. And what's another kind of cheese? You can choose a color. Let's go with green and then you can add your post-it. Um, you can update post-its to so say we want to change this. We can click update. We get a little um, pop-up view. And maybe I actually want to pet the dog so I can update it as, show, as so. Um, you can add post-its. Like the only thing that's required for post-its is the title. So say we do, um, I don't know. like so but if I try and add a note without a title we get a little um, sign telling us that title is required um, and the last thing I will show you is deleting so to delete a post-it we just pick it up and drag it into our delete um, drag and drop box there we have one more Cool. Okay, so code-wise, at the moment, this app is very messy and there's a lot of repetitive code. I guess as I've learned more and my project, projects have gotten larger, it's hard to find the time. Like as soon as I get the project working, that takes me a few hours and I haven't really had the time to go back and refract it. So what I'm going to do for my next video is actually refractor this, um, refractor this app down and also hopefully try and deploy it to Heroku. Um, but we can have a wee quick look through anyway. I have three components in this um, app. I have my form here for adding. I have um, post-its. And then this is also a um, separate component here, our update post-it um, view. Um, State-wise, we have um, post-its, which holds all of our current um, post-its. All that information, we have toggle edit screen, which determines whether or not that um, edit screen pops up when you click update. And we also have post to edit, which is a um, state value I'm using to hold whichever kind of post it we're working on at the time, whether we're editing the details or whether or not it's or whether it's being dragged to that drag and drop um, to be deleted. My code is repeats or kind of similar to other things I've done, so I'm not going to talk about all of it, but what I am going to talk about is um, these two functions here which kind of control the edit feature of this app since I haven't really done edits yet. Um, so the first one is find post edit. Now this is edit, this is triggered when you click the button because obviously we need to like figure out exactly which data it is that we're going to want to update and use that data to render this view here with the um, information pre-populated. Um, that just takes the key for the um, post it, it takes in the, the value of the key for that post it item loops through um, our, array, our array of existing post-its and then like isolates that post that we want to update and saves it into our post to edit um, state variable. And it also toggles our edit screen to true, which means down here, where are we? Edit screen, this is going to show up, which is this whole area that we can see now. Okay, so then, um, so once we've clicked um, edit and we maybe want to update a post, we then click this update post it button. On click, we trigger the update post function, which basically just saves any new values that have been passed in from, those for, from that form, from um, the update form, and saves them onto the um, post to edit and then pushes that um, into post it and sets the stay set state with that new updated array of post-its. Um, 
yeah, I mean, we can have a quick look at update form as well. Um, pretty similar to the last one I did. So what we're doing is when we trigger this update form, those values that we're passing through are all taken from props. So as the form, say you only you only update one um, value on, um, you only update the title when you edit. That's fine. It's just gonna. It's just got an on event set state um, on change, which will update this. So when we click submit, all of these values will be passed through, whether they've been updated or not. Cool. I think that's enough for now. Um, I'll be back with my next video, refactoring this and making it a little easier to read, um, shorter, more concise, and more effective. Thanks.